I just want a breast. A nice, juicy breast. Signed the Emancipation Proclamation. I'm from Louisiana, Shreveport. I was different. I didn't fit in. And I just I have a lot of health issues. I'm the voice of freedom. I just really wanted the family to get back together like my grandmother. I want y'all to join me on my journey. I want you to join my movement. Where do I begin? She's single for the night. But the truth of the matter is if you don't live a lot. My name's Tamika Wesley. Born and raised Shreveport, Louisiana, slash Mansfield. Um Where do I begin? Let's see. I guess I can start off with um I was twelve in two thousand. My first cousin, like a brother to me. Calvin Lewis died. Um, rest in peace, Calvin Lewis. He was murdered. He, um, AKA DJ Alize, or so called friends. Fuck friends. <laughs> I only have family. In the same girl. year, my mom, and then my little nephew, Mercedes. Then my mom died with my nephew. Car accident. On the way from Georgia. Then my grandmother died. Shortly after that in 2000, another one of my cousins died. So, the family was kind of gone in a sense. I didn't even know that she was planning on moving us to Georgia. I thought she had went out there to be with a guy, but I just recently found out she was moving to move us to Atlanta. And, um, when she passed, I went through this whole God hates me. You know, you take, you took my nephew, you took my mom, you took my cousin. At this time before, before my grandmother passed, she was still there, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like, I felt I was already starting to feel alone. The last person I had was my granny. I really looked to her for a lot of questions dealing with our family because, you know, she's an elder, Cherokee. And a lot of stuff that was going on with me at that time, I didn't understand what was going on. And, uh, I didn't even know it was going to be this difficult to talk about it, dude. It'd be like that. Just. My family started going into a down spiral. Um, everybody was really basically handling everyone's death in their own way. You have a very large family, but it felt like you was alone, even though you had people there for you. It didn't feel like it. Up. Shit, you basically said my whole damn family died after they died because they was the backbone. Sister Wayne, damn, you're crazy. I love you, but it's the truth, sis. She gonna be mad at me, but it's the truth. My sister at that time, she was really going through it because my nephew was who passed with my grandmother, I mean, excuse me, with my mother, which was her son. So, she was really going through it. Um, uh, my auntie took me in. Me and her really, at that time, didn't see eye to eye. So, basically, this is how it was. As long as I told her, hey, auntie, I'm finna go, I'll be back. And she'll tell me, just be safe, don't do nothing stupid, and don't come back dead. And, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? My, my auntie went on this holy, spiritual, but wicked spree. I 
My whole family went to shit, man. I mean, the backbones was gone. I ain't had nobody to teach me nothing. I had to learn everything on my own now, you know. My dad, he was already in his 60s, retiring, going through it. You know what I'm saying? My mom was love his life, so with her gone and his grandson gone, he been waiting for a grandson for so long, I had to be strong for him. You know what I'm saying? 12 years old, my nigga. In these streets, no bullshit. You can ask anybody in the street, Port Louisiana, Motown City, Grove, Hollywood. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie, I felt like I ain't had no choice. I was out here. You know what I'm saying? Like in one of my songs, I said, when I freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Family betrayed me for social security. That's some real shit. I was walking around in my motherfucking mama's shoes, Red K Swiss, that my mama died in. You feel me? I came back my seventh grade year. I missed like three months of school. It's like a whole lot going on, you know? And I had begged to come back to school after my mom's fast. And because it was either that or go crazy. And trying to stay off the streets. Um, because of everything that was going on with my auntie, you know, she didn't really know how to express herself with everything that was going on. So um, I don't fault her for a lot of things that happened that took place. Every day until I moved about that bitch. And I kind of don't know if it was because. That's the only thing I had left because somebody stole the ring that she died in. So I think I had left to hold on to it because, you know, trying to block everything out. Kind of fuck yourself up. Forgetting her voice, forgetting her laugh, forgetting her touch, forgetting everybody. That's the best way I thought I was supposed to do it, try to handle it, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? I started. Dealing harder. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no secret that my family was in that shit, still in that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I just really uh got to selling anything I can put my hands on. From hard to fruities. Anything to keep me occupied. Um, I never used, thank goodness. But... Nigga thought about it, <laughs> but no, I didn't. I, 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 I didn't. Um, had a couple of family members go off to jail. Let everybody else shit. I wasn't fucking with, cause they didn't fuck with me. Why try to fuck with them? Don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So what? I'm a lesbian, man. Eh? You know what I'm saying? That's 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 just me. You shit. Everybody know the deal. What the fuck you acting stupid for? I like pussy, so what? You know what I'm saying? So everybody started really shining me because, you know what I'm saying? My mom was bold. She was bold anyway. Didn't nobody really, you know what I'm saying, try to get on her bad side because she'll whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, basically, mama gone now, so fuck you. So I got some mentality, fuck you. I was with my sister for a while. We was um, doing our thing, and um, she wanted to go back to school to try to start her life over. So she asked me to ride with her to Baton Rouge, and we got stuck in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh my God, we got stuck. Everything happens for a reason, though. I um, started going to. So the University Laboratory School, private school, it's like the baby sister of Southern University of Baton Rouge. I got a scholarship to go there. Uh, wonderful coach, lovely mentors. I had um, some godparents up there that looked out for me, helped me pay for my tuition when I blew my knee out. Um, had a couple of scholarship offers, but like I say, everything happened for a reason. Didn't really fit in, cause you know, as some other people in, at that school consider me a hood rat. Um, I was different. I didn't fit in. 
I didn't I didn't even want to fit in at that point. You know, I was working, playing ball. Um, this is when I started getting really sick to know what was going on with me. Find out sickle cell trait, which a lot of people don't even realize that the sickle cell trait can actually affect you just like the sickle cell. And with me playing uh, basketball and um, track with the shot put javelin, it really started breaking down my body. Um, and so when my, me and my coach found out I had blood pressure issues. We didn't know exactly what was going on. Um, my sister was getting worried, you know. Now it turns out that's the reason why my knee, I blew my knee out, you know. Um, and a few years later, after I graduated, uh, I was inside of a car accident and I uh, found that I had DDD, which is this, the gender of this disease. Um, and I just, I have a lot of health issues. I'm only really going to details, but I have a lot of health issues. Like, if you go in my room on my counter, like you will see how many bottles, dude? Like, like 20, 15, 12, 12, somewhere in there. It's a lot of freaking medicine, yo, and I hate taking them. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. I feel like it's a, it's a bunch of bullshit. I feel like we're, we're guinea pigs. I'm not gonna take all of that for, for you to see how my body's gonna react to it. So I have my picks and chooses of which medicine that I take. And I'm doing pretty good. I'm okay. I see a couple of family members saying I'm doing my thing with this music. And I've been getting free requests out the ass. I ain't holding it to them, no, because I didn't grow. I didn't got stronger. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting anything stop me. That's the whole point of sharing my story. You can get out that drug shit. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. It's hard. It's easy money. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to roll up on somebody. But it's also easy for somebody to roll up on you. Karma is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Jail sucks. Yeah, it's a lot of pussy in there, but there ain't no clean pussy. There ain't no free pussy. That's jail pussy, my nigga. You feel me? That shit, that shit ain't cool. Before my grandma died, on her deathbed, she told me and my little brother, my little cousin, which is AK, my brother Zay, shout out, hey yo Zay, um, she asked me and him to get the family back together, mm -hmm. because she already seen what was gonna happen with us, you know, and not just the close family remember, close family members, like everybody, because. And everybody know how family's supposed to be or how y'all family used to be. I know I'm not the only person that went through this shit. Every Christmas, you had one location you meet up with. You everybody go ha ha geeky, you know what I'm saying, laugh and all this shit. Well, <laughs> it stopped. It wasn't, it was basically fuck you, you know what I'm saying. Only reason why we was together was because my deal was ill type shit. So... She asked me and my brother to get the family back together, man. We trying to figure out how the fuck we supposed to do that. He like eight, nine years old. I mean like eight, seven, nine years old. I'm 12 years old and we trying to figure out how the fuck we supposed to do this. They don't listen to us. It's, like, it's a lot of secrets in our family that they don't even want to talk about. So how are we supposed to connect with people that don't even want to connect to us? You know what I'm saying? So that's one of my missions that I'm out to do, you know what I'm saying, in honor of my grandma. Cause I'm a big family-oriented person. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it does kind of suck. It feels kind of good getting in contact with some of my, you know what I'm saying, family members. Feel pretty good, you know what I'm saying? But we got a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of hatred still floating around in the family, a lot of animosity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I just lost the auntie. You know what I'm saying? I found out I called my uncle checking on him, and the first thing come out is my first auntie did. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's like it's a, it's a whole other story behind her, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We just gotta keep moving, get stronger, you know. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my family back together.
Frankenstein. Y'all ain't gonna like it. You motherfuckers gonna love it. You bitches are getting back together. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit. Through all everything, I decided a few years ago that, and this is why I listen to Katy Perry, Katy Perry Firework. I feel like I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. It's my life. It's my lyrics. It's my music. Someone's gonna. Some someone is gonna listen to it. Someone is gone going through or something similar to what I've gone through. Maybe they can't express it. Well, I'm gonna express it. You know, I've met maybe one or two other people that has lost a family, multiple family members in one year that we can actually relate. And by them listening to some of my tracks, they can they can release a lot of anger, a lot of pain. You know, so a lot of times you'll hear me say in my tracks, fuck the world, because that's how I feel. The world's been fucking me so many times for so many years, so hey, it's not time for the world to bend over and take my shit. You feel me? Um, with everything that I have gone through with exes and betrayals and a lot of BS, I find myself to be strong in inspiration. Uh, I guess I can go into details a little later, but for now, this is in the baby signing off. Stay tuned. Yeah, it <laughs> that is. is crazy, y'all. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to do this. Don't apply, don't apply at all. All my stars, baby. Equal rights, equal rights for all. Equal rights, equal rights for all. Thank you.